stop caring about black men as a group. Guys, we need to have a quick conversation before I do today's video. This one's going to be particularly contentious for a variety of reasons, but I think that it's appropriate that we kind of set the stage before we go into the clips. This video will probably get demonetized, but I think that it's so important that I don't really care. So I'll spend some time going over this because I think that it is very important. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was asked, do you think that there is currently a war with the genders, a gender war? And my answer kind of slided on the idea that I don't think that there's a war. There's some recalibration that absolutely needs to get done. Um, the content that I react to on my channel can be particularly salacious in nature. But if I compare the content that I'm uh, reacting to and telling a story about to the young women, the young men that are in my lives, I don't surround myself with those types of people. But I think those viral moments, there is a lot of lessons that can be learned. But going over that content doesn't necessarily mean that there's a war. There could just be an outlier amount of people that exhibit certain behaviors. And then we also go over kind of different movements within the sector, feminism, and kind of the information, the pandering that has constricted a lot of our minds from operating with high degree of results and high degree of outcomes, right? We talk about it from a dating perspective, also from a financial perspective, all of the above, right? So when I was asked that question, I said, no, I think that there needs to be some rejiggering of how people think about things. And I think eventually people will start to come along and get better, much more healed version of society. Since then, I've encountered a couple of different videos from a sector of YouTube. And these content creators seem to spit nothing but venom, hatred, bad things onto a collective. OK, so I wanted to get into this particular video and react to it as well as dispel some of the things that I'm seeing here. And then we'll wrap it up towards the end. So without further ado. And I want to send out a public announcement. Black women and girls stop caring about black men as a group, as the collective. Pay attention to their actions. Their actions have told us, told us time and time again that they do not value us, that they do not respect us. They have no love for us. So you should not have any love for them. That sounds crazy for a person to care about or people to care about a group that has told you, we don't even want you. That's crazy, black women and girls. Stop caring about black men as a group as a collective jesus given the chance they will harm us wow that is factual avoid them it's facts at all costs it's facts, avoid sir. them avoid their spaces at all costs let me pause it right here um what i found so interesting about the first time that i looked at this um her words were avoid black men, the collective, the group, because they will harm us. Meaning that there's nothing good that can come from the collective, that can come from the group, okay? The collective, which is different than the individual, okay? My issue with that, the logical issue that I have with that is that, hmm, isn't individuals which make up the collective group? So you're telling women and girls, young girls, to avoid the collective of black men, but you're not telling them not to, not to avoid the individual black man, which makes up the 
collective. So logically, this is clearly a conundrum, clearly that this is a flaw because the individuals make up the collective. So what changes when it gets to the collective? Logically, this is imprecise. Logically, this doesn't make sense. But let's go on. I have a bunch of other things to say as well. There are no value to us. When there is a hashtag situation, that's not black women business. It's not our business. Let the people who know that person deal with that. Let those people deal with that. But as a group, of, a group or a collective, black women need to stop caring about black male issues. You need to understand that black males are the same people as the white supremacists. Wow. They act the exact same way. This they treat sad. us the exact same way. So you need to avoid them. They don't like us. They don't care. Okay. Again, a lot of logical imprecisions when it comes to talking about they don't like us. But from an individual perspective, <laughs> you're not you're not speaking and talking about how individuals can make up the group. Listen, I've said this on this show before is that I don't think that black women should be put into positions to have to protect black men. But I do think that there's ways that women can protect men you know how they go out in public how they use their words when interacting with other men right because what his sister Shahrazad ali said is that <laughs> there's certain types of women that'll sign you up for a fight and then walk away so i think that there's from a protection perspective things that can be done but when it comes to down to the gritty of true and utter security and protection that's something that women should shy away from but the type of putrid hatred that is spewed when you tell the collective of women not to care about the collective of men begins and maintains this idea that the black man and the woman in the black woman cannot get along. There's no other culture, there's no other race on this planet that continues to maintain hostility between each other like us. So when I was asked about gender war, I don't even consider this low level, abyss level thinking. But if this exists and creators like this continue to get views in the way that they are, and if you take a look at the video, you will find the like to dislike ratio is not even disrespectful for the type of content and the type of hate that of what this is, then at this level, there is a gender war. And it's really sad for me to see because I take a look at the outcomes and the results within my own life and I take accountability and I never point a finger at how people treat me at the end of the day. If I allow them or put myself into spaces, into circles that allow them to disrespect me, I'm still gonna take accountability for that because I put myself there. And even though you can't control your situations from time to time, I still take accountability for that as well because I should have known better. But that's what happens when you take full accountability for everything that you have in your life. And I live within the idea that if I take full and utter accountability for who I am and what I've amounted to in life, and if everyone was to do the same thing, we'd have an exceptional, happy planet with happy people, happy, joyous, and not people that are over encumbered with hate to point a finger at a collective group of people that from a macro position are not hateful people, but the ones that you allow in your life and expose yourself to are hateful people, then is that so much of a reflection of the people or is it a reflection of you? Now, this video was not even halfway done. It goes on a lot longer uh, where she continues to spew all of this hate, but I can't bring it within my soul to <laughs> continue to play this video. But one of the things that she mentioned is this idea about protection. And I've talked on this channel ad nauseum and have asked women to bring up specific instances because my contention is, is that there are specific instances where things happen, things go amiss, and then Either they were protected or they were not protected. But you have to look at specific instances, okay? And then measure that against the whole, the total. Because my contention is men more often than not are protecting. But are women putting themselves into positions or conducting themselves in a way to deserve protection? That's a federal
Get out the way. Oh, shit. Oh, yo. Oh, take that. Get that shit. She's going to f***ing jail. Oh, what my God. Fuck? Yo. Oh, no. Y'all got to help me. And she's gonna throw yo, him off the car. Yo, leave him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. What the hell? Yo, what are you doing, bro? That's the old man, man. That's the old man, man. As you can see right there, what's happening? You got a young lady that's going completely insane, causing harm, causing destruction. Just purposely hit a guy with her car. Because she wanted to get out of the place that she caused all of this havoc. Bystanders came down to try to help the man get her uh, nasty little paws off of him. And who was there to come and help her in a moment that she didn't deserve any type of protection? None. Absolutely none. Who was there? Let's play a little bit more. Man, that's the old man. Huh? That's a, what you guys doing? Yo. Ig ignore the guy. I, I don't know what the white guy. He's tripping. Oh. Yo. Yeah, he, he's trying to he's trying to get a check. The guy on the hood. Regardless, okay? The, the video's point still remains. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, as Because as you can see right here, it doesn't end up very well uh, for the young man. Um, I'm sure you can find a video online. He doesn't get seriously injured. He actually, he actually gets up from this, starts walking away after this, and they start talking to him, asking him questions. Why did you do that, man? Why did you do that? Oh, I wanted the cops to get her. Regardless, I would never do nothing crazy like that. <laughs> you, you let her go, right? You, and you live to walk the, the next day, okay? You don't, human beings versus cars generally don't uh, turn out well for the human beings. We're, uh, giant bag, we're giant jelly bags of blood, okay? Anyway, but guys, um, the reason why I wanted to show that uh, video in contrast to the first video is because I think that um, it's very damaging when you have a platform, you can just get up and just speak about things in a, gen in a very general sense and term, right? But when we look at specific instances of things happening and then consider of those specific instances, the particular actors within that specific instance are a portion of a collective, okay? So if you continue to go on and you spread information negative in nature, okay, without looking at specific instances, I think it does a lot more harm than good. But it's clear to me that some people are just in it for different reasons, okay? If the reason is, is to help, that's not the right way to do it, okay? If your reason is to hate, then yeah, sure, that's the correct way to do it, sure, but really, from a general perspective, you can see anything about any collective group and assign whatever negative things about that group. And it'll eventually be true for some. Eventually, it will be. But I really wanted to call this out because uh, my understanding of a war on genders has never been more defined than exposing myself to this portion of the Internet where it is the topic of conversation as frequently and as often as what it is. I think at the end of the day, there's just some people that are too far beyond past saving because their life choices, their decisions have left them in such bitter of a place and bitter of a state that not even therapy could circumvent where they are because they live in a constant state of bullshit. And they inflict that pain and that torment that they have experienced onto others. It's really unfortunate and it's really sad to see that now we have the good old internet, good old YouTube, to look at content like this in its truest raw format. But I think that it's important to point a finger at, identify the problems, put a magnifying glass on it via a platform, and it forms a discussion. Not all, not all, not all. I say that on my platform many, many, many times, but you guys got to understand that of a collective, of a people, 
not everything is always bad. And if you're down in there, either you're in a red pill state or you're in an ever hateful state that the first lady was in, okay? But chances are is that you will not be able to rectify your issues. You will not become joyous and happy if you stay there. If you focus on hating, if you focus on your disdain for others, what time is left for your improvement? What time is left to ensure that you can encroach on a better stage of life? Guys, that's where I'm gonna leave this video right now. Videos like this are particularly uh, soul-sucking and probably very de demonetizable, <laughs> if that's a word, but it is what it is. I wanted to make time within that because I think that it's important that we have these conversations in its real truest format, all right? Questions, comments, concerns, y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, feel free to hit me up. Um, I got a Patreon as well. Uh, for those that's down up in here that's not always looking for the entertainment and the drama and shit and want a space of like-minded individuals that are focused on honing who they are as a person and improving into the future, developing your masculinity, understanding financial education, right? All of these different facets within your self-defense, all these different facets within yourself to improve <laughs> your life into the future and also increase the likelihood of having a successful life through that, well, you know where to find me. Link down in the description box down below, all right? Until next time, you two. Peace! Hood Booger, Hood Booger, Hood Booger.